We don't have biographical information about Bradford Watson. Are you here, Bradford Watson? Okay, Bradford Watson is going to talk about typography, which is something I work with every day, uh, being tethered to something called Mrs. Eve's Roman. When you go out for the break at, to grab beer, grab a brochure, grab a CD from your Delaware Symphony, and learn about that particularly beautiful, but, well, somewhat troubling typeface. If you want to learn more about Papyrus, say hello to Bradford Wasson. Who needs slides when you have you need letters? Oh, here, we'll slide you guys over so they can see. I thought I'd bring a few of my characters along with me. These are my students from my University of Delaware typography class that have put up with me for probably long enough at this point. However, it's not papyrus. That's a good one. I would, put, I would put the R on, but then you can't hear me. So, no R. Thank you, guys. All right, so not papyrus. That's a pretty bald statement that I've just made, because now I'm calling out one typeface. You got a typeface? No, <laughs> out of the millions. Hold on. Oh, talk about the letters for a second. All right, hold on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like I'm teaching my students, except you're all not talking. I can't, I won't, I know, but it's, you got all you hear is book. I'll put it on later. You are in business. All right, so not papyrus. Bold statement to make, considering there's millions of typefaces, and I'm just going to call out one of them. But why? Why would I possibly want to call out one typeface? Papyrus was started in 1982 by Chris Costello. He's a graphic designer and illustrator. He spent six months lettering each character by hand. That's Papyrus, by the way. And he said, well, I want to see what the English language would look like if it was written on Papyrus. Well, Letcher said bought it in 1983, and then they said, let's give, give it to people for free. You can use it wherever you want. You'll have Papyrus. Well. Now it's everywhere, from Susie's fourth birthday party to international mo movie releases. Avatar just used it. Thank you, James Cameron. I mean, after 27 years, I would hope that I would make it to a movie. So here we go. Now we're going to talk about why papyrus. There has to be a reason people use it. So I'm not going to discredit it right off the face. It has a reason. So why papyrus? Well, it's handcrafted. It has irregular qualities. Cool. It has high horizontal strokes. It looks antique. It reads well for display copy. You're thinking, God, that's a great typeface. Where can I use it? Well, is papyrus really everywhere, though? Because now I'm saying it, but is it? Do you believe me? Well, don't worry. I've taken care of that for you. Just, just to prove you, I asked all my Delaware students to go out. When they found papyrus, take a picture of it and put it on Twitter. And hashtag it, not papyrus. Papyrus is Irish. Nothing says Irish to me like papyrus. <laughs> Hello, Kildares. I mean, come on. Papyrus. Yes, Irish. Go, Irish. I think Notre Dame should start using papyrus. But, wait, it's also Asian. So now, not only is papyrus Irish, it's now Asian. Nothing says green tea better than papyrus. Thank you, Amazon tea. Hey, you know what Trader Joe's wanted to get in on it too, so they put it on their brown lead rice. They said, yeah. But wait, you can also relax with papyrus. It says, take it easy. Drink your tea at night, get in the bathtub, there's some soap for you. We got some vitamin oil from you from Trader Joe's again. It's there for you. If you need it, papyrus is there. So, what I want to know, if papyrus is really everywhere, is it effective? Well, wait, so if I put it on my business card and you put it on your truck saying, chiropractic care, does that make a statement? Am I making a statement if I want to get business from you? Are you going to remember it or are you going to be like, 
God, that's that guy with that cheap car with papyrus on it. I'm just going to throw it out. I would, because I'll probably go, oh, it's real flimsy. Out it goes. So, all right, is there a message? And how much do you value your message? This is what I want to ask you. Not whether papyrus is good or not. Are you looking at it from a typographical standpoint of saying, yes, there is value in my message, and yes, I want people to remember it. If not, why are you here? Let's talk value. So, do you value it? Come on, you value your message. You want to stand out in the crowd. Well, does Papyrus do that? I changed the message for you, so I just want to see if Papyrus has you know, some effects for you. Here's why typography is important. Form, context, legibility, and readability. Those two bottom ones are not the same thing. You can always read it, but do you want to read it is the question. <laughs> Hello, change. <laughs> is this change that you can believe in? Because it is certainly not change that I want to believe in. It is on the cave wall. No. Wait. Wait. Let's, let's look at change in another typeface here. Comic Sans. Another great example of a typeface. Hello. I mean, if I was writing a comic about change, this is what I'd want to set it in. However, if I'm Barack Obama, I probably don't want to say, change? <laughs> Maybe not. I'll leave it up to you. How about Helvetica? It's classic. Designers love it. They're like, change. No. It's still not having an effect on you. So how do you make your message stand out? You stop and you think about it and you say, what would differentiate my message? Let me find a new typeface that says change that we can believe in. And that's Gotham, which is out of New York, developed by Hoffler and Freire Jones. It is not on every computer. You have to buy it, and you have to say, that is going to make my message stand out. So let's look at them all together. So now we have change, 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 and change. I want you to take away, ask yourself why. It is the most under-asked question in design. No one stops and asks why. They do it, and they're like, yeah, it looks great. But are you really asking why? Is your typeface, and are you thinking about typography in your message? Thank you very much. I'm Brad Wasson. My contact's really tiny because I like small type. <laughs> my, students. my students are awesome. Please talk to them. They'll all need jobs in two years. <laughs>